Hey everybody and welcome back to the Rabbit Sanctuary's YouTube channel. Sometimes when bunnies come into our care here at the rescue, they have come from circumstances of abuse or neglect. Oftentimes, if they're found as strays, we don't know what has happened to them. This was a case with Miss Sassy Pants, a foster bunny of mine, who those of you who are subscribed to the channel will know well. Miss Sassy Pants got her name for her very sassy attitude. She took some good bites out of her rescuer, so we knew when she came into us that we'd have some work to do with her. Whenever she was picked up, she would bite and latch onto the skin. Apart from it being very painful, it was very stressful for both her and I. I set to work on her behaviour. As of today, I can pick Sassy up without being bitten. So how did I get to this point? The snuggle coat technique. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the snuggle coat technique for a variety of bunnies needing some extra help. The snuggle coat technique requires either a fluffy dressing gown or a snuggly blanket to be used. The reason for this is because bunnies love to cuddle up to other bunnies to feel safe and secure. To mimic this, we need to use items that remind them of fur. It's also a great way to protect yourself from bites if that's why you're using this method. I began using this method for Miss Sassy Pants soon after she came into my care. Our bunny boss, Kim, recommended I try it, so out came my hot pink dressing gown. I would leave one side up against my skin to protect it and then wrap Sassy up with the other. While she was in my snuggle coat, I would pat her gently and talk to her. It was almost like reassuring a baby. For the first few weeks, it was a lot of biting, which then moved into biting and latching on the snuggle coat. With time, Miss Sassy Pants felt safe and comforted, so she would gladly snuggle into me, and the biting of the snuggle coat became less. She learnt that I wasn't going to do anything but cuddle her, so it became something she really enjoyed. I would do this a few times a day, up to 10 to 15 minutes at a time. If you're using a blanket instead of a dressing gown, place part of the blanket on your chest and then wrap the bunny in the blanket. I would also do this while sitting down with Miss Sassy Pants and she really loved that as well. This technique doesn't just work for bitey bunnies, it can help with bunnies who need some work with taming and handling. The more you interact with your rabbit and learn to get used to handling them, the more the bunny also gets familiar with it and will become easier to hold. I promise you, the more you do this, the more confident you will become. Your bunny may attempt to escape in the beginning, but if you secure the bunny in a comfortable position, they will settle in and calm down with time. Stick with it as it really does work. How is Miss Sassy Pants doing? As of today, she really loves having snuggles on my chest without the need for a dressing gown. She will gladly sit there with her eyes closed and nuzzle in. I truly believe that this was possible because of the snuggle coat technique method. It just takes time, patience and a little love. We would love to hear in the comments how you go with using the snuggle coat technique. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, bye everybody.